Hello, welcome. My name is Jason Welsh, and we're going to cover materials on objects in this lesson. What I'm going to do is basically use my macro that I developed in one of the previous lessons to make a good box. Okay, I'm going to clone that box, and I'm going to go over to the subtools and append that clone, giving me two boxes. Okay, I'm going to scale out and hold shift. Go to the Move Transpose tool, click and drag out, and grab this middle red dot and move it off to the side, and hit Draw. So now I have this. Okay, let's just say this one I want filled with some other material and a color. So MRGB, Color and Material button. Make sure this is 100%. Let's just say I want that to be a red copper. Okay, so Color fill object. And this one, maybe I want to fill it with something else. Let's, uh, let's say this yellow antique, white, color, fill object. Okay, so there we go. We have two different materials on two different objects. Alright, so now let's get a little bit fancier. Let's say I want to take a material and assign two materials to one object. Well, I could do that by going into frame and uh, let's say control and shift let go of the mouse and I'm going to assign that material only to this part now the problem with doing this is I'm going to get bleed onto the next part because I do not have enough resolution to support such a thing okay so control and shift anywhere else let's change that let's go over to the geometry and uh, let's say delete higher and take smooth unclick it and hit divide divide it up to five times okay and then lower the resolution down control and shift we get this object and let's make it all the way up to five this will maintain that crisp outlook on it and then go over to let's say oh this antique bronze and let's put green in there and go in here and say color fill object Okay, unclick frame and you can see that that is green and the rest is yellow. And you can already see that there is a definite bleed over because of the resolution. So the higher the resolution yields better result with this bleed mark. And that's how you can assign multiple materials to one object. Alright, so that's it for the lesson. Quick, dirty, and uh, on we go to the next lesson.